we make a new project go to new application project here we can give the name of the project so and here we can select the controller and now we can use the default setting and SDK this one okay finish so we have make a new project now uh, we will try to add the free r2s uh, to this project we have to we can download this tool from the website so the project uh, we have to wait a little bit Okay, this is our project. It is taking time, some time. So, this is our main file. We have created a project and now we will add a new folder into this project where we can add our files for pre R2S source folder where we can give the name to this folder where we will add our uh, files and directories so um, I give here the version of the pre R2S this I can see from here there I have downloaded these files from the website so the version is 10.3.1 so I have created a new folder for adding the files so this is this is the website where we can download the free R2S all the files which are required and we can place them here and we need this source folder so this source folder is required these are all the files so we can copy this source folder into our project in this folder so we can also uh, drag this folder into this uh, folder and then uh, do just the link and then mm -hmm. these files will mm, not be copied into our uh, project so this is our these are all the files uh, which are now part of this project so we do not require uh, all the files but these are the files which we require so we have to find uh, we have to delete many things which we do not require these are uh, this is what we require and this is what we require and this all these the all the other folders are not required so we can delete all the other folders from our uh, project except this gcc and this mem mank so we can mm, press delete and then delete all the all these folders. We have kept the, we have kept just GCC and then main. So now we go into GCC folder. Here we have also many folders which we do not require. This is the folder which we require, and then. We can delete all other uh, folders which are not uh, related to our microcontroller. So we can select all these and select this one, and then uh, we can press the delete button. So we have selected what we require this ARM CM PR4F, these are the files which we require, and then we go. Uh, to this memory uh, 
folder we do not require all these files so we can delete uh, the other four files we use heap 2 you can use what you want what is required so we can delete all other files so this is uh, all what we require from this free R2S uh, website these things are added into our project we require two more files one is the con free R2S uh, config file here we have this free R2S.h file but we require a free R2S config file which we can make it we, we, we can make ourselves or we can copy it uh, from an example project so I, we can import an example project into our workspace uh, and then bring here uh, so I have an example project this one and then there is a file here in which is generated with this uh, button so this is the file this is the clip can be generated with the processor uh, this, um, so, so I have copied this file into my include directory. There is another file. This one, this we also need. We can copy it uh, and paste it into our project. This is an this is another file. So these are the two files we can paste it here in the source folder so this is this one is this file we can uh, this file we do not need we do not need this these lines we can delete these lines or we can also keep these uh, lines but I will delete uh, these lines and uh, because I will make my own mm, mm, code so I can I am deleting this all this code up to here and then just delete and then now I can save this uh, file so we are also almost uh, done I have this file and this config file these two files I have taken from this example project uh, now everything is there uh, all the folders are there now we have to uh, go to the project and then we have to keep the paths uh, here we can go in these folders and we can add these folders in our um, paths so this include folder we have to add it here and then there is another folder which we have to add uh, into this list so this one this is this one so we add this one into our project okay and then okay so we have given um, everything in the settings in the paths and so now we can build it so now it should work but there is an error okay we have to go to the uh, again to the project properties and then we have to go to the settings and then we can select target processor and then this one this setting we have to do the FP instructions hard okay now it should work we can try to compile it again this time it should work we can, I can build now so let's see what happened So now I'm, I have uh, built the project successfully. So uh, everything is complete. Uh, we have all the files. This is the example project. Uh, 
these two files this file is uh, from another this is from the example project here are these this 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 code can we can use if we want but uh, in my project I have removed this one so we have to now debug our our project uh, so I close this old uh, example project so that uh, we can see everything clearly I try to build it again check once again okay so this is my main file here we can add some code we don't require this code so here, here we can add our code we can create a task here and then Mm, I have made some lines of code which we can copy into our main uh, file uh, to create a task so this is the code which I have copied into my main program to create a task and then start the scheduler uh, there are some warnings uh, this is the code this is the task which has a delay and a counter so this task will run and these are the some warnings which I which are due to some header files so we have to uh, I try to build again the warnings are no longer there but we can add uh, these uh, uh, some header files which are required in the main this we can copy from this rts.c file uh, so that we don't see these warnings again this is these are the files which we can copy into our main program so I put it in the main at the top okay now everything is okay now we can build it okay the build is successful so now we can close these files okay this is the role for that I close this one okay this is the example project so this is my project I go to the source and main and then you can see our code the counter the delay there is the task creation so now we can mm, debug our project so I have to go into the debug configuration ok we have to go run and then debug configurations so okay, I, here I have to do some settings so that uh, I can debug my project so this is this one and then I go to the debugger and then select this open SDA for the evaluation kit and then now we are incomplete so apply and then debug now it should work so we can now see our counter in the main task uh, so I will try to make a break point so that and Put the counter in the watch window so that we can see the counter running so we have to add it in the watch window I have added it so okay it was already added so I can put a breakpoint here and then run again 
okay now we can see that the counter is running so our task is running so we have successfully uh, made a free r2s project